So this is the story about a guy named Gordon Klingenschmidt. And Gordon Klingenschmidt uh, is running for the state house in Colorado. He's trying to take a seat in Colorado Springs, hoping to replace uh, a current member of the Colorado State House, a guy named Mark Waller, who I guess is moving on or leaving. And this guy has already won a primary election, so he'll be up in November for a seat. And uh, so today he has spent uh, apologizing, sort of, for something he did Monday. He's not, no, he's not even apologizing. He's merely explaining uh, what he did yesterday. Uh, and what he clearly did today was Google the word hyperbole. <laughs> because that's what he's come out. So let's, let's get to what this guy says, uh, what he said over the week weekend, uh, Gordon Klingenschmidt, uh, first to give you some context so you know what he's responding to today. For some reason, because his name is Gordon Klingenschmidt, <laughs> he has kind of a, a, a sobriquet. <laughs> and his, uh, he calls himself Dr. Chaps. JR, he calls himself Dr. Chaps because... Uh, his, his status or as a chaplain, a former chaplain. Over the weekend, he spoke very openly about Colorado Congressman, United States Congressman, uh, Jared Polis. Jared Polis uh, represents uh, Boulder and the areas around Boulder. Um, uh, he's one of the few openly gay members of Congress. He's also the only member of Congress, the only gay member of Congress to have children. He's got a couple of kids with his longtime partner. And uh, Gerald Polis is a, a very active supporter of uh, LB. GT writes, um, uh, uh, good for him. And, and I looked up Jared Polis on a host of other issues, as you might imagine. It appears Jared Polis has just couldn't. Boulder has given us a solid member of Congress, mm -hmm. as you as you would expect they might. So here's what Dr. Chaps <laughs> has to say about uh, Jared Polis. He says the the openly homosexual congressman uh, Jared Polis introduced a revised bill to force Christian employers and business owners to hire and promote homosexuals. And then again, these uh, these are not our capitalizations, these, these, are, these are Gordon Klingenschmitz, uh, to promote homosexuals with zero religious exemptions <laughs> for Christians who want to opt out. Uh, he continues uh, by saying that what Polis wants to do here, Polis wants sexual orientation and gender identity treated the same way as race, religion, sex, and natural, uh, national origin when it comes to employment practices. How dare he? Yeah, I like, so leave that up there for a second. Yeah, that's right. That's what he wants. That's what we want. That's what Americans want. That's what progressives want. Most of the country is progressive. That's what people want. Just treat people fairly. Right. right. Uh, that's all we're asking for. Um, so then he continues with this, and this is the part that got him in trouble. That doesn't even get you in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. That's just being ignorant. Uh, Pastor Bader's funny. Um, this is, uh, this is uh, the last thing that he said in this uh, email. And again, he calls himself Dr. Chaps. Um, <laughs> the open persecution of Christians is underway. You see, this is very similar to the other story that we did. There'll be a video of it about Michael B. Williams. The open persecution of Christians is underway. Democrats, like Polis, want to bankrupt Christians who refuse to worship and endorse his sodomy. I love talking about sodomy. Mm -hmm. Loves it. Next, and here's the significant thing. Next, he'll join ISIS in beheading Christians, but not just in Syria, right here in America. Well, obviously, I mean, if you're in favor of fair employment uh, practices toward gay people, then obviously you want to join ISIS and then behead Christians. Yeah. I, is it, isn't that the same thing? Well, given the fact that we've just seen a horrible video of uh, an American journalist who uh, was as dedicated to his job as any journalist there is and who gave his life in the, in the, in the pursuit of truth and an understanding for all of us, shows like this to be able to do stories because of the work that people like James Foley did. And this American uh, went over there, put himself in harm's way, and was brutally murdered, beheaded, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, th this guy then chose that time to talk about that somehow Jared Polis is going to be beheading Christians uh, is hideous um, and just dumb. It's mostly dumb. Like, it wouldn't have offended me, but it's dumb. But anyway, so Democratic leaders in Colorado denounced the email. You know who has denounced the email? Mm -hmm. Republican leaders in Colorado. Awesome. Because they're like, yeah. You're an idiot. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about beheadings. Jared Polis doesn't want to behead anybody. Um, so, <laughs> so Gordon Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, uh, has responded to that criticism uh, today. And as I said, he did so by going online and Googling the word hyperbole. Uh, and he's super pleased with himself. Uh, here's uh, Dr. Chaps' response. You know, this weekend I sent out an email alert to my constituents. And in that, I used hyperbole. You know what hyperbole is? It's a literary device where you exaggerate to make a point. Well, apparently some Democrats do not have a sense of humor, and they were offended by some of the things I said using hyperbole this weekend. 
So I want to issue a personal apology to you, Congressman Jared Polis. Even though you're an openly gay Democrat and you are passing policies that would persecute some Christian business owners here in America, I would never compare you to the ISIS rebels who behead Christians, right? Of course you would never go in for something like that. Well, that's quite an apology, <laughs> Dr. Chad. He's an idiot. Yeah. Um, his lower third also cracked me up because at one point it said, pray for authority or pray for the authority. Oh, Jesus, Re yeah. Referring to himself, like everyone pray for me. All right, look out for me. Even though I'm, an, I'm a hateful, terrible piece of shit, please pray for me. Do you know what hyperbole is? I looked it up about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I looked it up. I didn't <laughs> even know the word. It's a literary device. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine knew it. He said to Google it, it'll help me out as I make this video. Colorado is so beautiful, it's a shame that people like Dr. Chaps are there. Oh my God. That background, which was almost certainly a, a you know, a green screen, but it mm -hmm. was still like somewhere, that's Colorado. I'm going to Colorado this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Um, so I, I, this guy is, there's two, first of all, I love how he's criticized other people who don't have a sense of humor. He looks hilarious. <laughs> and you're so worried about sodomy, you're so worried about gays, and as far as I know, the only people in the world who wear chaps, and he calls himself Dr. Chaps, are uh, cowboys who lived in Deadwood in 1886, mm -hmm. right? And they're no longer with us. Uh, and strippers who work at the Thunder Down Under in Vegas. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. Your kind of strippers, Anna. <laughs> My kind of strippers. That's but Dr. he had Chaps. to soil that <laughs> that name. Soil. <laughs>